Hey everybody, welcome back. My name is Jacob, and in this video, as per this comment, we are going to be making an Ajax comment box. Alright, let's get started. So I'm going to make index.php um, page.php action.php uh, database.php PHP that'll connect us to the database and then I'm going to be using an SQLite database for this so I'm going to make database.sqlite okay here is my SQLite database manager so I'm going to open this database and we'll make some tables first one is going to be users and we'll have an ID and just a name. Now, this since we're just making a comment box, we're not worrying anything about security here. So, whoops, I already created that. Okay, so now we have a users table. And I'm going to add a row, say admin. Another row, that'll be Jacob. And another row, say another user. Let's save that. Okay, let's make another table, and that'll be posts. Okay, and in posts. Okay, I'm going to add a row and we'll say title is first post and body is hello world. Okay, and I'll make another one, say second post and hello world again. And commit those. And then we're going to make another one called comments. Comment ID, post ID, um, author ID, or I'm going to call that user ID actually, and then body, I'm just the text of the comment. And in comments, we have nothing showing up right now and I'm not going to add anything. So now let's get started in our database connection. I'm going to make our database connection. So I'm going to say database equals new PDO and that'll just be to database.sqlite. Okay, so there's our database connection. Then we'll be able to include that into whatever page needs it. So first in our index.php page, um, by the way, these pages are not going to be valid HTML, just for my own sake. So I'm going to make header say, welcome. And then here, I'm going to make a query, and that'll be database prepare this query. Select um, title, I, um, ID title from posts and I guess that'll be it okay now while post equals query um, fetch I think I have to execute that I don't know I haven't used PDO for a little bit so let me uh, just print our posts see if that works and if it doesn't okay so I think I have to execute it <laughs> Q execute no oh, that's not working oh duh because I never included it sorry peeps okay so require wants database.php there, now it's not working.
is because this needs to say SQLite, like that. There we go. Ha <laughs> ha. See, I told you I didn't use PDO for a little bit. Still work? Yeah. All right. I don't have to print that. So now we have each of those, so that's perfect. So I'm going to echo out a link. Okay. And inside of this link, the text is going to be post, post title. And the link is going to be to page.p php id equals something or another and that something or another is going to be post id there we go and i should echo a line break out there too whoops there we go okay so now that's the first post and this is to the second post awesome so i have welcome and then post list now on page.php, id equals dollar underscore git id. Okay. Um, if not is set um, dollar underscore git id, then header location, just go to the home page, so it set an ID, and die. All right, so there's our ID, and query equals database prepare select um, title body from posts where where ID equals something or another and that something or another is going to be ID okay now post equals Q fetch yeah okay print our post See what's in there exactly. And it's not working because I did something wrong again. Because I didn't include the database again. I keep telling myself I'm going to do that, and I do. Choir wants database.php. There we go. All right. So I'm going to say echo post title. And I'm going to wrap that in a header. There, first post, okay, and echo in a paragraph tag. Post, uh, post body. There we go. Okay, and then we're gonna have a comment section down below, but first we're gonna have to add some comments, right? Right, so I guess I'm gonna come over here and add some comments in here. Just one post ID one, user ID one, body awesome. Oops. Okay, now comments. Inside of here, we're going to have each and every one of our comments. So, um, comments query equals database prepare select um, user ID and body from, wait, 
no, select name body from from comments join our users on on uh, comments dot user ID equals user dot ID where comments dot no comments dot post ID uh, equals something or another okay comments query execute with our ID in there post ID in there and now while comment equals comments query fetch uh, print our comment ah whoops I want to go back to my browser window and that's not doing anything why is that join users have a table called users, right? Users comments on um, comments user ID equals users dot ID. There we go. Okay, but it's not selecting. I'm just there. Now it'll work. There. Forgot to save it. Okay. So now I'm going to echo bold, bold. And um, in here, we'll say comment name, name, okay, and then append comment uh, body, there. Now we have comments. Admin says awesome. Okay. Now over here on action.php, this is where we're going to send an Ajax request over to. So here we'll say um, action equals, well, if not is set dollar underscore post action location no oh no header lo location there and die okay otherwise action equals dollar underscore post action Right. If action equals add comment, which is the only action we're going to implement, then we have to say a post ID equals dot underscore post post ID and um, user ID equals dot underscore post user ID and body equals dollar underscore post body okay and those would be all of the the um, everything that we're sending along with the request and then we'll create a query uh, so that means up here we have to require once our database.php file okay and here that'll be database um, pre prepare insert into comments post ID user ID 
body values insert into values something something and something okay query execute if query execute so if, if this executes and we'll have to do that with our post ID our user ID and our body then return not return then echo we're just gonna do a very similar thing to how we output the comments so then we'll say yay 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 wait never mind then we'll just echo one that sounds good okay otherwise echo zero because we are going to die here all right now over here we can add some javascript script and we'll say let let post id post id equal id okay and now we have to do some more html and javascript -y type stuff so i'm going to make a text area with an id of comment box and then a button with an ID of su submit comment by button and comment and I'm also going to have a select up here an ID of user uh, ID well, user select because we don't have a login so yeah there's like no security here um this is just going to contain an option so you can set whatever user you want um so i suppose i'll, I'll, I'll put that in php now users query equals da database Prepare select ID name from users. Okay, um, users query execute. No, not for while user equals users query fetch then echo an option with a value of user ID and then option close that out and in here this will be user na name Okay, that looks good to me right now. Look good to you, hopefully. Um, tell you what, let's just refresh and see. Okay, admin. And yep, it has the correct options there. And we have the post ID correctly inserted into there. So now here, we'll say also let comment box equal document dot get element element by ID comment box and button equals document dot get element by by ID submit comment All right button add event listener on click we'll call this function and that first of all is going to disable everything 
Um, uh, let's see, this text area also has to have a variable name too. So user select equals document dot get element by ID user select. Okay, now all of these have to be disabled. Comment box dot set attribute disabled to disabled like this. And that's going to be button and user select like that. Okay, so now all of those are disabled. Let's make our XML HTTP request. So that XHR equal new X XML HTTP request. And this is going to open to, well, it's going to be a post request like we have set up our PHP. And that's going to be to action action.php and it's going to be asynchronous so xhr.send we're going to make some form data to put in there as well and that's going to look like this let form data equal new form data fd append we had post id that's going to be post uh, id that we set there um, up here with php um, we also have user ID, which is going to be user select dot selected index. Uh, let's see. Um, comment this out real quick. Let's see what we get in the console. Comment this out too. Um, console dir user select you just gotta see what's in there when we comment let's see we have options and o p options so options so whatever option is selected we want value and that value yes that's gonna work okay so This is going to be user select dot options. Select wait, does it have a select? It does have, it should have a select selected options. Yeah, that's what I want. Ha uh ha. -huh. Selected op options zero dot value. Okay. Don't need any of this anymore. And this is going to be, uh, well, I suppose I should have um, action is going to be add comment. And this uh, post ID, we already have that. And here, finally, this is going to be body, body, and that's going to be da, 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 comment box.value. Okay. So send with the form data, and then uh, the xhr on load equals function, and it's gonna look like this. Xhr, um, let's see, alert, uh, um, alert, xhr dot response text one. I suppose that means we just added an empty comment. Yeah, we sure did. And that exposes this tiny little bug here. I have to also append a line break. There we go. So the admin just added an empty comment, but um, let's make sure that we can't add empty comments. So first I'm going to say yay, 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 yay. Um, if comment box.value dot trim dot length equals zero alert comment must not be empty okay and return so we don't want to allow them to add empty comments you can't add empty comments of course this can be easily subverted because it's security on the client side 
But hey, like I said, we're not really all about security right now. This is not a security a security tutorial. This is just how to add Ajax functionality here. Um, comments, comments, comments. I want to add a line break after the comments. After the comments. Line break. There, more space, more space, more space. All right, so I have to say Jacob, and I say, um, hello, yada, 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 and comment, and it says one. Perfect. Now, if I refresh, there, my comment has appeared. But this is Ajax, so we want to update it dynamically, right? So now, if uh, xhr.response.text equals uh, one, uh, one, like that, then console.log success. Just want to make sure that my type coercion isn't going to you know, mess me up, so it says success, perfect. All right, so now I have that extra comment, just what we needed. Now everything has worked, so we can re-enable all the buttons, you know, and say um, here, remove attribute disabled. Whoops, what did I do? There we go. Okay, um, so now all those buttons are going to be re-enabled, and let's dynamically add the comment. Uh, um, the comment up to this list here. So, um, I'm going to be a little bit hacky and grab the username from um, this option field here. Ideally, um, that wouldn't happen. You would um, probably load it dynamically, L load the username dynamically so you know it's always accurate. Um, but, you know, this is not really all about security. This tutorial isn't. It's just about how to do this. So I'm going to say um, let p. Hey, I just had a brilliant idea. And that is surround all of these in a paragraph tag here, like this. So I can say backslash p there, and then I get the line break just like I wanted. And that makes this easier because then I can say document.create element p, like that. Okay? And now p.inner html equals. We have a bold, bold, not line break. Something. That's our format, okay? That is our format. Plus, whoops, plus. User select dot selected options zero dot 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 text content like that. And then here, that's me plus body, okay? And now, we have this right here, div with the ID of comments. So I can add that to here. So let's say comments equals duh equals equals document dot get element element by ID comments like that. And then here we'll say wait here comments dot append child uh, p. All right, um, that looks okay. And so if I add a comment as another user and say, hey, ya all and then comment, it says body is not defined because I didn't make a variable called body. It's comment box dot box, box, box dot value. That's what I had. Okay, so admin says, no, just like Luke. And there, it automatically updates. Um, we should probably clear this field then too. So I'm going to say comment box dot value equals emptiness. And um, dum dum dum. User, no, we'll leave that. Okay, so now it'll clear that. So if I say another user and comment something clever, then it clears that field. Now, also if I go back here and go to second post, we have no comments here. And if I say 
Oh, this is on the second post. And then comment, it says, oh, this is on the second post. And if I go back to this first post, that comment is not there because we are doing everything properly like we should. And there, now we have an Ajax comment box. And that was a lot more PHP programming than Ajax programming. Ajax is not even a programming language. Um, JavaScript programming using Ajax. But it was a lot of PHP programming just to get all this to work. Probably set up too much on the server side, you know, with all the database stuff and users and posts. But, hey, it was fun. And uh, so, yeah, there is your simple, very simple, and absolutely zero security, I'm sorry, zero security comment box with Ajax as requested. Enjoy, and uh, yeah, have a good one.